Right, when I bought my Chinese mini lathe several years ago, the first accessory I actually bought for it was this small carriage stop. And I've been meaning to get around to making a better carriage stop than this one for some time now, because the actual screw here that um, goes onto the carriage is way too close to the um, ways and um, quite hard to adjust. In fact the screwed part is really just a 6mm allen bolt and when it actually goes up against the um, carriage um, it's in a bad position because it's actually hitting the screw which holds the rubber um, ways cleaner on. And if you've bought one of these carriage stops and used it you'll know how awkward it is to actually adjust this allen bolt and seeing a close up of it there you can actually see it landing on that screw. It should have been landing on this side here of the carriage. And I haven't actually seen any other stops available for the Chinese mini lathe so I think this is quite a common one. So there's probably many of you out there that have got this one. And rather than make a new one completely I decided to use this one and upgrade it to make it much better. And it is actually dead easy to do and when you see the finished results you'll be surprised at how brilliant a stop can be made out of this one. So this is what it looks like off the lathe and it only had one um, allen bolt hole here which is um, threaded to 6mm in the lower half. Get rid of that one there, you don't need that. So all that I did was get a piece of mild steel, a flat bar. This is 25 millimeter wide, which is the same width as the actual um, stop. And it's um, five millimeter thick. So imagine that this piece of plate steel hasn't got any holes at all in it. What I did was got this half here with the V in it and I put it on um, the actual plate here so that it's nearly level with the um, end there and I used a transfer punch in the existing hole to get that position of the hole. I then drilled through the clearance hole the same as the um, bit with the V in it or the top half So the allen bolt would go right the way through like that. I then screwed the two halves together and tightened the allen bolt up nice and tight with all the parts nice and square. I then marked this side and drilled through with the core diameter for a 6mm thread right the way through. I then took the stop apart again and opened up this hole for the allen bolt to go through so it's got clearance hole and the same with the top half here. I got some six millimeter bolts which are 40 millimeter long on the thread there and some stainless steel six millimeter washers and put those through the assembly like that and I got um, two washers uh, both the same thickness and put one on each of those uh, bolts and what that's for is to actually stop the um, actual um, stop there when you screw it together I found that the um, top half and the bottom half um, are very um, far apart on the gap and it does actually tend to tip like that when it's locking onto the ways. If you put a washer here in between, it's enough to stop that tilt, but it still locks up. 
And having the 40 millimeter long bolts uh, through the uh, assembly like this, it will actually go right the way through. But I found having longer bolts makes it much easier to actually offer it up to the lathe fully assembled. So you can actually put it onto the ways um, without any, um, or without it having to take it in half, if you know what I mean. So you can have it like that and it opens up enough to actually go over the ways and then uh, lock down the bolts. And I um, did make this plate here. Um, it's about 65 millimeter long. So then I tightened everything down and I marked up a couple of holes um, so they're about six millimetre from this face to the centre of the hole and six millimetre from this end face to the centre of the hole and drilled those uh, for clearance for the six millimetre bolts again. And then I've got some one inch aluminium square bar. I would have used steel but I didn't have any uh, but this is perfectly adequate. And I parted a section off on the lathe using the self-centering four-jaw chuck and then faced it off to length. So it obviously went in there like that. And then again I used transfer punches through the top here to get the actual hole positions again. And I drilled and tapped for six millimetre threads. And then that one just screws on to the actual plate. So then it would be like that. I then put it on the lathe and brought the carriage up to a certain um, distance and saw where the hole should be for the um, actual stop. And then I marked this up, center punched it obviously, put it on the bench drill and I drilled through with the core diameter for eight millimeter thread and obviously tap that one right the way through. I then got a length of eight millimeter studding and I loctited a nut on the end here and turned off the hexagon and I turned it back a bit so that there's a bit of the um, thread there protruding. So it actually just stops on that um, inner diameter face. This one, just screws right the way through and then I've got a lock nut on there as well to lock it in position and the great thing about this stop is that you can actually leave it right um, under the chuck area so you don't have to move it hardly ever you could just change the length of the studding and leave this locked up all the time So it would be good to have various lengths of this, but this actual length here that I've got would probably do most jobs. And I used eight millimeter studying for obvious reasons. Um, it's the same thread that's on my um, Myford stop, much sturdier than having a little six millimeter Allen bowl. So now you can see why I've got the long bolts. You can just pull the parts apart like that without having to take it right apart and then just slip it over like that push the underside up and just use a socket to tighten that down a bit so it can't fall off like that you can see how rigid it is even just tighten it up finger tight loosen those back off and then push this down towards the back end of the truck and then you can use a ring spanner to tighten up.
and you can see the washers here in between the gap here is just right it stops that from tilting and keeps the whole assembly nice and square and you can just loosen those two six millimeter bolts off if you want to slide it backwards and forwards just like the stock was originally designed to do but i think it actually pays to have a few lengths of this studding and um, leaving this in position and then just changing the studs is whatever you feel is best but you can see there that it'd be quite actually quick to take that out and there's um, less chance of this clashing with any um, work or whatever with these stops on any lathe, whenever I um, adjust them and change the length of, or the position of them I always check first and turn the chuck by hand to see that they're not going to hit the jaws or whatever. And it's absolutely solid and I think it looks much more professional and you can see that it's a much better design than the original. Plus it's hitting on the side of the carriage here or the front face of the carriage nicely which is excellent. So that's finished and I've also finished my um, actual block for the quick change tool post. I've included several positions for six millimeter threaded holes here so I can actually bolt um, accessories to the tool post. I could actually bolt a coolant pipe onto that or one of my um, video cameras like I do on my MIFID ML7. And while they're not in use, I've actually blanked them off by putting some um, six millimeter grub screws in the threads. Plus I've cut this section out here all the way down for clearance when I actually put the boring bar um, tool holders on. So now I've got the lathe set up for a bit of a test. I've got a 12 millimeter turning tool here, a new one with my um, new blue nano insert. It's got the 08 radius, the large radius. And I've got a piece of 316 stainless steel bar in the chuck. This is my test piece and there's a groove in the front, front section here so it'll be a bit of an intermittent cut at first which will be a good test. So let's see how it performs.
So you can see there how it handles the intermittent cutting on the S316 stainless steel. It's been very good and I'm really pleased with this new stop. I'm actually really pleased with the new tool post setup.